Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of the Cathedral of Velvet Podcast. It's that time once again, I am your host, Perry Jusho. Welcome to the Cathedral of Velvet Podcast, where people podcast, I think. Uh, yeah, so this is the podcast where we talk about the latest, uh, persona news, uh, sometimes SMT too, and also metaphor. Uh, yeah, I'm Paradisha, your host, and yeah, uh, it's been another two weeks. Uh, I think things have been, you know, a bit iffy. <clears throat> uh, if you guys don't know, uh, this podcast, of course, we talk about the news, but, uh, before we get into news, we talk about, you know, what's been going on in our lives, you know, what's, what's been going on outside of the computer realm, right? So, well, sometimes also in the computer realm, but mainly outside. <laughs> so, uh, what's been happening within the last two weeks, okay? Uh, so, I got I got both my copies of Persona 3 Portable and Persona 4 Golden Phys- Physical. So, that's really awesome. I uh, did both my uh, unboxing for them upon the main channel so that is good um i am planning a certain project i have not really said publicly but i'm still not gonna be saying what it is until uh we get closer to uh the date or it's actually released so yeah i'm not, not, not gonna be spoiling but it's something that is fairly close to my heart and I really hope it comes to fruition. And that's all that I'm about to say about that project, alright? Don't don't wanna say anything else. Don't wanna say anything else. Of what else? What else? Um Let's see let's see here. Let's see here. Um What's been going on IRL? Um, well, I had a family member who kind of went to, it wasn't really surgery because they didn't really like, uh, you know, go, go into her bar, like open her up. But, uh, you know, a family member went to, went to doctors to get some, uh, shots and for some pain. So that's done. And she's saying that she's she is feeling better feels a little, still a little bit weird but overall she's feeling better than she was before so that is as far as i'm concerned that that, that is good all right uh and what else what else what else uh i think i mentioned the last time i, I did get to like a extra sh- new shelving for my room so i can have more uh more shelving for for games and uh, uh figures so that is good um just uh um not really much has been happening i'm not gonna lie uh there is something i will talk about uh that is related to the podcast coming up at near near the end of the podcast so i'll i'll mention that later um but coming right now it is it is like like at least thundering i don't hear i don't hear much rain i think it was at least rain it was raining earlier today uh so yeah there's that uh oh yeah today was gamescom so there, there was that, and there was a persona uh, showing there, uh, which we will be talking about that later. Uh, whew. what else? What else? What else? What else? What else? What else? Uh, I, I guess not much has happened within the the past two weeks. Um, well, we're recording more, uh, SMT5 Vengeance. Um, I won't say a lot, but, like, uh, at this point in time, 
I've gone to, well, a big explosion happened within, uh, within SMT5 Vengeance in the Canon of Vengeance arc. So th that's all I'll say about that, just in case you guys haven't uh, played the game yet. I, it, it's still, I, I, I'm not like guy type of guy to spoil you, like especially like a very long game like immediately like like if it's been at least a year or two, especially like, like with like with, like Persona and SMT games, which takes like. 80 hours this game is supposed to be taking eight hours i'm not going to spoil it immediately but if it's something that's been out for years years i mean like uh, I'm, I'm not gonna hold myself back <clears throat> like uh like freaking uh persona 5 all that stuff that's been happening in persona 5 <laughs> like I, i'm gonna feel too too to spoil that because like persona 5 came out 2016 2017 okay that is almost that's like eight years ago, right? So just, uh, just, 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 just things, just not 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 much has been happening. Just, like I'm I'm looking around my room to see, you know, do 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 I have anything new? And I, all I'm seeing is nothing. Um. Oh. Uh. The dryer broke, and I was able to find out, you know, what was the issue with that, thanks to YouTube. Uh, it was the dryer belt that, that broke off, because, hey, you had that thing for, like, over 10 years. It's like, and it finally broke. So, yeah, it was about time to change the belt. And, you know, did it fairly cheap, like, it was about $16, $17 for the belt. And then, uh, also replaced the... Uh, the vent in the back, so that was, like, another, that was another, like, 12 bucks or so. So, like, about $30 in total to, like, you know, fix the, the, uh, dryer. It wasn't too bad, but what the issue was, was that, like, there was, like, um, a pulley, like, in the, in the bottom of the dryer, which was, like, kind of difficult to wrap the belt around. Like, you literally have to, like, use some force, like, pull it back wrap the belt around it so then it would work so uh we we, we got we, we we got that done um so let's see here uh hmm. yeah i think that's mainly about it <laughs> i i don't want to go go on for too long because hey uh if, if i got nothing to say you might as well you know just continue on right so let's get into some of the news but before we get to the news i do want there is something big that actually happened it's pretty sad so uh if we just switch over here so Unfortunately, today we found out that uh, Atsuko Tanaka, the voice actress for uh, Kaya Totomaya, passed away. Yeah, so this was an unfortunate thing to happen. Really sad that it happened. Uh, like uh, I, I pulled up her her um, Wikipedia just to like see you know what, what was her some of her works because like I, I I knew some of it from like obviously you know. P5X, but like, I want to see, you know, some of her work. Okay, so, uh. Oh, she was Motoko? Oh, man. Aww. Okay, uh. Conan, okay, Caster. Lisa, Lisa. Oh. Uh, oh, and Bayonetta, too? Oh, man. Uh. Oh, that really sucked. Oh, it's unfortunate that she passed away. Uh, oh, she had like a, she's battling an unknown illness for over a year. So like, is it, oh, undisclosed illness. So they probably know it, but they're not going to say what it was. Hmm. All right. Um, well, well, let's just see her other stuff. 
Um, don't recognize some of the stuff here. Um, okay, Berserk. I haven't seen like a Berserk yet. Uh, Hajime Imoi. I don't. It's it's well. Well, let's see who 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 this is. Hajime Imoi. Uh, I do not recognize that. Uh, oh, from season zero. Yeah, 98. So that's season zero. Okay. Um, let's see here. Of course, uh, Motoko. Uh, we've been third as Karu. Uh, Caster, yeah. Oh, Freya. Uh, oh, she was Trish and Devil May Cry. Ah. Uh, anything else? Anything else that I recognize her from? Okay, yeah, Conan. Uh. Mokaku, Mokaku. I I'm afraid to search this up because. Ikitosin it also you know has nudity so I, I, I don't want to put those out there. <laughs> um what else? Uh Lisa Lisa, yeah. Uh don't recognize Oh oh Ryoko. Oh mm. uh look at the third I am blood orphans Oh, she was the narrator in Thunderbolt Fantasy? Oh. Okay. Uh, who else? Who else? Make my day. Uh, films. Lemon Blade Works, of course. Uh, Bayonetta. Yeah, what, what about some games? Uh, I mean, I probably won't recognize her from the games because obviously I play, play in English, but you no, know, it's good to see to recognize, you know, what she's done. Okay, she was Chun Li in Third Strike. Okay. Uh, what else? Um, Utsugi from uh, <laughs> Inuyasha. Uh, Chun Li again, Namco, Namco, uh, Namco Capcom. I want to say Namco Bandai. <laughs> uh, uh anything else i recognize oh man i was gonna I'm about to start playing out because at three okay saki so gonna hear her soon uh oh she was kine oh man uh uh Oh, Alice in the uh, VLR. Okay. Okay, Gabby the Black Samurai. Okay, T the Japanese version of Tess. Uh, okay, Bayonetta. Uh, what else? Who else? Okay, the female avatar for uh, Zing Blade Chronicles X. Oh, Reina in in uh, Kiwami. Okay, okay. Okay, Trish, Ava. Uh, all on media. I I don't recognize. It. Is is that the the redhead uh character from from the game where she just turns everyone into like liquid mercury? Uh. And then uh, you know, Tomb Raider's Laura Croft. Uh, it's it's just a shame that she passed away. Uh, again, she she was she was sixty one, right? Sixty sixty one. Yeah, like she she looks fantastic for for sixty one, man. Uh it, it's a dis, it's a disappointing thing to happen. You know, let's give like you know like a a moment of silence for for her, cause you know like that. That, that's that's just sad that she passed away so but let's give a moment of silence uh 
All right. Oh, man. Like, I think it was, like, her son, right? Yeah. Uh, Hikaru. Uh. Hmm. So. It, it, it's sad that that happened, man. But. You can't help what, what, what happens. Just. That's life. Like. I wonder if, like. Like, what, what the illness was, you know? Like. We will never know, but you know, it's it, it that that happened. All right, so w with that, you know, out of the way, you know, rest in peace, Ats Atsuko. You know, you will be missed, you know. Uh, let's go into the news, the, the, the Persona news, and uh, of course. We're gonna be on Persona Central. Uh, boom. Persona Central. We always take take a look at these guys. Make sure you guys support them, uh, however, whatever way you can. Uh, they're on Facebook, they're on Twitter, they're on YouTube. All the articles that we're checking out today will be up on will be on will be in the descriptions of the video and audio podcast. So please make sure you guys support them whatever way whatever ways you can. So first article for today. So we got a Metis trailer for the uh, reload. And I did do a reaction to that. So please make sure you check that out. So with the upcoming release of Persona 3 Reload, episode I guess on September 10th as part of the expansion pass, new trailer has been released for the DLC featuring the character of Metis. Uh, the trailer is titled The Devoted Sister, featuring new story scenes focusing on around Metis. English voice actor is confirmed to be Lizzie Freeman, originally Stephanie Shea in uh, uh, Persona F3 FES. Wait, that was the Stephanie Shea? Really? Not gonna lie, I did not recognize her. I did not recognize her in <laughs> in uh, in FES. I thought it was like, like it, it was like, uh, like I, I can't remember her name, but like, like, like someone from like a uh, Lucky Star, like uh, so someone who who one of the girls who voiced in Lucky Star. I thought it was like her, but I I, I can't remember her name, man. But well, I'm surprised that it was Seventy Shay. So we got the overview. Uh, after un unraveling the mysteries of the Dark Hour. Fighting epic battles through Tartars and all the unforgettable events of Persona 3 Reload, the Seas members find themselves trapped in a never ending March 31st. Journey through the abyss of time as Igus undertake new challenges, uncover the cause of this strange fate, and the truth of what happened on that day. Uh, delve into this final chapter now with cutting edge graphics, modernized quality of life features, fresh animations, and UI, and rearranged soundtracks. So let's check out uh the little devoted the the little video of the devoted sister. God, <laughs> I was busy. Oh, the the little devoted sister. <laughs> uh, no, no. Nah. All right, let's check it out. Background here and boom. Your, I guess. Come I'll use this power to protect her. My name is. Menace. You are the reason why I'm here. I've come so, to fun this fact found out about this after, this you know, my reaction to this time. trailer. That, uh, Menace is, uh, but Lizzie Freeman is Pat. also the voice actress of, uh, Poppy from. Wait, no, Pomni. Pomni. Not, not Poppy. Pomni from, uh, amazing The Amazing Digital Menace. Circus. So, it's really cool. End of the line. And that's a cool third G tag. And then giving callback to Ix's original uh, third G tag. 
but I'm not sure if that is actually the uh, her G mode or if it was something else. Yeah, new, someone new trailer for uh, for a P3R. Uh, good to see you know a little bit more of Metis. Uh, obviously, you know th this isn't gonna be like a long you know uh game well expansions about 20 hours or so so they're, they're not they're gonna not they're not gonna show like as as much as they can there or they're, they're gonna try to show as much as they can without spoiling right so that's done uh i i, I really hope you know like i wonder like how they're gonna be fleshing her out because there were some uh, uh like a uh, similar events to like a uh, uh like a link events and like those um well with, with like those events where you hang out with the, the party members in tartarus so we're we're gonna see more of that there <clears throat> but i wonder is it more for fleshing out the other characters or is it really more for uh metis because i mean she is a mysterious robot, after all, who we don't know much of her background, right? <laughs> so, I mean, can't wait to see, you know, what's going to be happening here. The next article. Hey guys, this episode is sponsored by Dubby. Dubby is a clean energy drink that's made to give you focus with no crash, jitters, or inks like other energy drinks. I just got myself the Dubby Sable Pack, which comes with this little tumbler and also comes with four flavor packs got the peach and beach or beach and peach <laughs> comes with the dub squat sludge my man sludge i'm reading it backwards <laughs> oh then we got the dragonade i should probably look at it first then <laughs> do a thing and then the galaxy grenade so we're gonna try one of these today and uh, I'll, I'll tell you how, how I honestly think about it. Okay, so out of the four here, let's try the, what, let's try with the, the galaxy grinning. Let's try this out. All right guys, so got a drink right here. Again, it is the galaxy grenade. Uh, it is watermelon, guava, and lime explosion. So, okay. Uh color is kind of grayish okay but uh cheers <laughs> not bad i i would say no uh would like the flavors to come out uh, a little bit more but it's not bad it's not bad if you guys want to try out the samples shaker yourself or buy any of the products on Dubby, make sure to use my coupon code PowerJ at checkout to save uh, 10% on your order. So again, that's PowerJ at checkout for 10% off your order. Now, back to the video. The Persona series has sold 700, 790,000 copies worldwide between April, from April to June 2024. So almost like almost 80, 800,000, almost a million. Like and then I can say almost 2 million, <laughs> no, no, no. But like that, that is getting close to 2 million just between uh, so April to May, May to June. Wait, April to May, May to June. April, May, I, April, 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 May, June, yeah, three months. So like just within three months, just selling that thing. I was, like, I was like, am I really saying it right? Am I missing another month? <laughs> uh, but Six Sammy has uh, released a company's uh, fiscal year ending March 2025, a uh, first quarter, quarter consisting of April, May, and June financial results. Uh, as with previous earnings, uh, Sega has outlined the company's tentpole game, game series, including Persona. According to the financial results, the Persona series sold approximately 790,000 units worldwide, including digital and physical sales in April, May, and June 2024. Uh, this mainly comes from the repeat sales of Royal Remaster uh, in uh, October 2022 and the newly released Reload in, uh, 
in February 2nd, on February 2nd, 2024. So the Persona series has sold 5.6 million copies in this previous fiscal year from April 2023 to the end of March 2024. Uh, it might be a bit hard for you guys to see, so, uh, yeah, uh, let me just do this. Okay, yeah, yeah, you guys, you guys can see the whole thing. Well, but, but besides the, the names underneath me, so it's... From like each row is like okay the first row is sonic second row second row is total war third is persona and the fourth is like a dragon slash judgment <clears throat> so uh looking well uh let's see here so the persona series uh, right here so uh seven hundred ninety thousand. so from uh one so it's one point to 9 million to 2.39 million yeah so is, is is that correct or or is it going from uh oh, oh am i counting it wrong or is it something else <laughs> uh no no i i think we're, we're 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 looking at the far right here from uh oh no but it's just the Am I, am I being dumb? Because <laughs> because I'm thinking like, oh, yeah, that that's definitely like, you know, the right number, but except like it should be another one there, right? Let me use my mighty calculator because I don't want to be, be be dumb, dumb, but like you guys can, can correct me if I'm wrong, right? So like uh, two, actually, look, we can just subtract uh, five, zero, six, zero minus two, six, seven, zero. Yeah, 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 no, no, that, that's not it. So, uh, 2390 minus 1290. No, uh, so the fiscal year for here. Oh, well, I, gu I guess so. Mm. I, I feel like I'm being idiots. <laughs> so, like, th this is the, the end of, of Core 4. So then, you know, when we start the new quarter, that's where it's jumped to 790. Okay, okay I, I'm being dumb. I was being dumb the entire time. Okay, my bad. It's my bad. Okay. <laughs> okay, so that this is the end end uh, uh, of of the quarter. That's where it ended off. The last thing we got was uh uh two two point three nine million. Now we're in the new year, the new fiscal year. We have almost 80,000 copies sold there there I, I i cleared it i cleared it up <laughs> i am not i'm not in the business kind of thing all right so please don't don't, don't get at me when i'm talking about this stuff <laughs> uh, uh, uh all right all right uh, just going going back to the report going back to the report uh i was report in april 2023 the personal series has sold 3.27 million copies last year from the beginning of April 2022 to the end of March 2023. And Sega outlines that the sales and profit from the entertainment content business increased for this period of year compared to last year, due to in part due in part uh, because of the performance of new games like uh, Vengeance and repeat sales like Unicorn Overlord and Remastered. Wait, what do you mean repeat sales? Because, like, it, I, you know, if it was talking about, like, you know, Royal, you know, because, like, yeah, that's technically a repeat sale because it was, like, okay, Persona 4, and then it was, like, initially on, no, wait, no, 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 it was released on, on all platforms at the same time, right? And then, uh, so, so I was thinking, like, oh, wait, did Unicorn Overlay get another release? But probably not, no. No, definitely not. No, I was just saying, yeah, the, the sales is still coming in despite you know the the uh the length of time the game's been released uh so this led to a 34 percent increase in total net sales and the milestones uh march 2024 this percentage sold over 22 million units worldwide uh as of 2023 uh persona series alone sold over 10 million so yeah Big accomplishments. 
uh almost 80 80 000 sold sold in three months that is still very good so like i, I wonder like what will be the next uh fiscal year i mean next core gonna be about because uh so this is considered uh what where was it again uh april may june so july august and september so it might be a little bit less because you know if people already have you know the copies of persona 3 reload uh well i'm not sure if they considered um like expansion passes as part of this too or is like is it just you know the actual game itself that i don't know uh much about because again i'm on the, the business side of things so i don't really know if you guys can explain to me in the comment section down below that'd be really great so come from that uh so almost forgot to get something else uh boo, boo, boo. Boo, boo. all right so next one it was another trailer for reload the bridge of time and uh yep as always uh did a reaction to that so please check that out as previously announced the latest trailer for uh reload episode i uh reloads episode i guess and the expansion pass has been released titled the bridge of time the trailer features new battle theme don't as well as new gameplay and anime cutscenes so yeah if you guys want to see my full reaction to that it's there but let's check out the the trailer real quick the fact that a future exists is not a guarantee that all will have access to it a whole bunch of anime cutscenes so obvious my boy, my we boy, understand <laughs> this is the abyss of time. That's why time is looping, and why you can't leave the dorm. Time stopped. And look, that new menu, well, well, sort of new, uh, I guess, just taking place uh, of the pro tag. The abyss of time. Each of them connected to the past. I... I... want to go back. How dare you want to go back? We have to choose between moving forward past our regrets or revisiting the source of them. Now everyone needs to recognize their own feelings. Think about who he was and what he meant to us. Oh, can't wait to see those fights again. And third G. Because it all shaped who I am. I'll, I'll protect my sister, whatever it takes. I guess. What about you? You want to redo the past or move forward? Right here, Keek. And I realized something. So please, I'd like you to listen. And if I'm remembering right, I think uh, Don't is available on uh, Spotify or like it's on streaming. So I, I I haven't listened to that. I want to wait until like, you know, actually play for myself to actually like hear it. Like, I, of course, you know, I, I've heard, you know, like the opening, you know, to to the game. Well, well, well not 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 to this, but like, you know, the opening of the game when the trailer came out. So. Yeah, well, we'll want to hear the full thing when when uh when I actually get my hands on the game. And then uh we've got some character details. So of course we got Igus, voiced by Don Bennett. A humanoid weapon with a soul and the ability to summon a persona. She joined Seas during the Persona th during Persona 3 and developed her uh human like feelings uh fighting alongside the team. In episode Igus the answer, she awakens to the same power of the wild card that the protagonist once had and explores the mysterious abyss of time with her so-called sister Metis. In this story, her unique persona Orpheus uh in this story, her unique persona is Orpheus, but the power of the wild card allows her to wield multiple personas at will. 
and Metis, voiced by Lizzie Freeman. So, a new mysterious uh, android who first herself as Ix's sister, she appears before the Seas member while they are trapped in a never-ending time loop and leads them to a mysterious area that that has appeared beneath the dorm called the Abyss of Time. Her unique persona is called Psyche, is Psyche uh, specializing in physical wind and ice skills. We got some new Thergy. I guess the new main character of the story can use some of the Thergy skills as P3R's protagonist, as well as the new uh, Thergy added in episode I guess the answer. Each power, each are powerful and have their own uses. Link episodes as you oh, link episodes. As you explore the abyss of time, you'll find key items that you can give to your teammates to spend time, uh, to spend value time with them in special scenes called link episodes. Okay, so are these are these uh like key items like randomized or are they in specific areas like uh like when we go to like fight uh certain bosses uh on specific floors of Tartars are they specifically there or again are they randomized <clears throat> okay now we got difficulty levels players can choose from five di difficulty levels including the hardest mode heartless from those who wish to relax and enjoy the story uh to those looking for a serious challenge players will be able to enjoy this episode at their own pace much better and i found out recently uh and despite you know me playing uh, the original FES, the answer, uh, apparently that uh, uh, like <clears throat> like the difficulty in FES for the answer is not set to hard mode. It's still on normal, but it's the boss fights that gotten harder. Uh, uh oh, oh okay okay because like when you look at the save file it says normal and i went back at my own footage to see and see the save files and it indeed said normal so it was just like so where did like people like get to say that uh of a little say that uh the answer was hard mode like, even myself, I say, like, oh, yeah, this is on hard mode. I'm just, like, like throughout the playthrough multiple times, like, oh, man, of course, I'm playing on hard mode, so it's going to be a bit harder and all that stuff. But, no, it's it's just set on normal. So, is, <laughs> well, well, what was, like, where did that all come from? Like, I, I, I read the text, you know, when, you know, when it loads up, you know, uh, the answer. And it did say, like, you know, the bosses are a bit harder. So I guess that's what people like equate like, okay, if the bosses are hard, then the other enemies are hard too. So therefore it's hard mode. No, I mean, maybe that was it. I'm not really sure, but uh, yeah. Okay. Oh, and, th and th this is this where, where we want the Persona Compendium. By transferring your save data from the P3R base game, you can continue to use the save data you had registered in your Persona Con Compendium. That was something really missed in Epia in, in the original answer. You could not use the compendium. Even with the personas that you found within the Abyss of Time, you you cannot register them. All personas that you get are one and done. So if you fuse them, you have to find it again within within the Abyss, or you have to fuse it again if you fuse it. You could not register and bring them back. So thank goodness they, they brought back the committee for this. <laughs> and also, uh, you will not be able to use the transfer persona companion on heartless difficulty. In addition, you cannot summon personas below Ix's current level. So you essentially can't cheat out the game. So like, oh hey, you know, I'm just gonna summon uh <laughs> I'm just I'm just gonna summon uh Lucifer. I'm just gonna summon Loki, my level 89 Loki, my <laughs> level 99 Lucifer, all that stuff. Like, no, no, no. It has to be either, uh, it has to be below I guess it's level to bring back. So like, ah, oh, dang it. I can't cheat, cheat my way through the game. I can't have an easy time. <laughs> 
Next, we got the battle song. The soundtrack for episode I guess the answer has been composed by uh, Atsushi uh, Kitajo and Ryota Kozuka of the Alice Sound Team. Popular songs from the original uh, from the original has has been remixed and re-recorded, and the and P3R's uh, sore vocals, Azumi Takahashi and Lotus Juice make their reappearance. In addition to the uh, refreshed classics, the soundtrack features all new battle and opening themes, the former of which don't uh, can be heard in the latest trailer. Uh, the Persona 3 Reload episode I guess original soundtrack will be released on September 10th. As a preview, uh, the songs Don't and Heartful Cry will be available on Spotify and other streaming services available now. And uh, we got some pictures of some uh, inside of of the Abyss of Time, and oh boy, that looks really cool. Like I talked about this in uh in my reaction to this, and like this new area that just looks nice. Like it's all tech theme, security cameras. That that looks really cool. Okay, so this is Judica, or J Judeca, perhaps. <clears throat> And we we see baby Mitsuru. Oh, she's so adorable. <laughs> but 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 when you see like like uh like slightly older Mitsuru like before uh <laughs> but before main game uh Mitsuru just like Ugh, what's a hairstyle? <laughs> so adorable. She's so precious. <laughs> All right, and then we got some more of this here. Uh, easy for you to say, but I guess you're a nurse too, aren't you? I'm uneasy. Alright, so... Got heartless difficulty. Good luck on that. <laughs> then we got the third G with uh, Power and uh, Archangel. Decarabia, nice. So yeah, I think, I'm think i thinking like th this cutscene has to be before... like. Uh, uh, an intro cutscene. It 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 feels that ha it has that feeling to it, right? All right. So uh, not like not like we have much else to go on. Couldn't hurt to pursue uh, anything suspicious. Oh, there's Orpheus. So this is this is probably when uh uh Metis just comes in and just like what. This isn't my persona. Where where's Athena? And then the new menu, quote quote new menu. Yeah, and I've seen some people complain like, oh, like how Igus isn't doesn't really fit here, and I I can see that because like obviously it was intended for the protagonist, like like the whole like his whole like fit match with the background. But with this, like, no, 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 it doesn't really fit. Like, just like, oh, uh, we are, we don't have our protagonist. We have Igus. Uh, sure, just flash her in into, like, a fetal position. There we have, man, dang, that, that's a good look for Metis. Like, nice updated look. And then Psyche using some, is that ice? Wind, not really sure. I I think it. Yeah, it it is. As you can see, the like the particles of that. Or 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 could could be like you know just uh meta summoning her persona. That's the fragment of it. But I I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be ice. And there's the third G attack. Introducing herself, and her all out attack. Nice. Uh, I want to watch this foreign drama DVD. So I'm guessing, uh, like that foreign drama DVD is probably something that uh, that we gotta find within the abyss of time, like I said earlier, for those uh link linked events. So that's probably one of those. And look, the velvet room. Oh look, registration. We can we can and summon. We can summon and register our persona. And the answer, yes, finally, thank goodness we can finally do that. <laughs> uh, but but it is definitely a good thing that 
that that they added that 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 was a much neat thing to to add to 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 the answer it was like oh man like they was just like i like in the answer originally like i think like i kept both i think i i think i kept both like like king frost and i think black frost as well like for so like a long duration of the playthrough like throughout like multiple like dungeons just like like i don't want to get rid of them they're they're too good and i can't bring them back and they won't have the same stats like uh so thank goodness they they uh they 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 they, they kept with the the compendium and the register fusion stuff well fusion was always in there but uh summoning and and the registering good good on you alice for for doing that that is what we definitely needed next up Meta 4 to feature in Xbox at Gamescom livestream on August 23rd, 2024. So yeah, this week is Gamescom. Uh, earlier today, I did do a live stream of it. Uh, it was alright. It was entertaining. Like, I wouldn't say it was bad, but it was still entertaining. So, uh, Xbox has announced their Gamescom's live, uh, Gamescom live stream live streaming schedule as part of the lineup they will feature metaphor refan zero on august 23rd uh the, the broadcast will include deep dives and gameplay and developer interviews uh what the metaphor segment will consist of is not specified uh the daily streams will start at uh 3 p.m central 9 a.m or hmm, so central eastern I, 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 I'm not really sure what, what the CSC is, but uh, 9 a.m. EDT, 6 a.m. PDT. Uh, times for individual uh, segments are not given. Uh, Sega's Gamecom's uh, lineup will include a playable demo for Metaphor. They will be selling Metaphor tote bags, and and life-size Seeker art, archetype statue will also be present. I was about to say, wait, they're also selling the, the Seeker? <laughs> but well, no, 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 no. So, uh, the full Sega Games Call lineup is, uh, currently, uh, Sonic X Shadows Generation, or is it, is this Sonic Shadow Generations, or is it Sonic X Shadow Generations? Let me know in the comments section down below. Uh, Metaphor, and then Two Point Museums. And then, uh, the other stuff for, uh, uh Xbox, so Wednesday, all that stuff, Thursday, all this stuff, and Friday... All this stuff. So yeah, uh, hopefully some good stuff will be shown off uh, here. So yeah, uh, <clears throat> 23rd, so that's the Friday. So I will most likely either, <clears throat> well actually since, since it's during, yeah, I'll probably be able to like see like the upload of the metaphor segment whenever it's up because i believe i don't work until like 4 p.m that day so maybe maybe i'll be able to see it and maybe also do a reaction to it who knows uh, subscribe to the main channel and you'll find out and ring that notification bell too <laughs> and next up alice exclusive metaphor repansy or world tour trailer to air august 29th Alice has announced that the next Alice exclusive broadcast for Metaphor will air on August 29th uh, at 9 p.m. JST, 5 a.m. PT, and 8 a.m. EST. So the 29th, nine days from now, that's on a Thursday. Okay, so I'm able to check that out. Uh, the stream is subtitled World Tour Edition and had been previously announced uh, have and has previously been announced to feature the game's daily activities. A world tour is also given to Alice's series of worldwide demo events of for Metaphor. Alice, Alice, yeah, just explain what that is. So yeah, we we had multiple parts. So, yeah, first one was general introduction. Second one was the game's job system. Third is the world story, the world and the story, and the fourth is the characters that appear in the game. So seeing like the daily lives is essentially like similar to with a uh, persona. Seeing like you know, hey, in persona. We go to school, we can do uh, go to jobs, do some social link stuff, uh, 
you know, build our stats, all that stuff. So it's most likely going to be similar to that. So they're probably going to be like, okay, certain day we're going to be, you know, giving some, uh, uh, some, what's it called? Preaches, uh, some, some, uh, well, speeches, more, more better to, to say that speeches to different areas, uh, try to, uh, build up our bonds with certain characters and also traveling time is also going to be part of that. So like in, in those like traveling segments, probably can doing like cooking, cleaning, training, all that stuff. So that that's probably what, what we're going to see, uh, with in in those uh uh in the world tour uh, uh showcase and next up oh wow we are almost we are literally at the last two <laughs> articles <laughs> okay so we have the english voice cast for metaphor so really good really cool to hear so uh with this week's game Gamescom 24 even had me this week. Alice has made an announcement for the main English voice cast uh, in Metaphor. <clears throat> so the protagonist is Caleb, Caleb Yen. Stroll is Stuart Clark. Uh, Hulkenberg is Christian Atherton. Uh, Galica is Alejandra uh, Reynoso. Uh, Heisme is Felipe Spall. Juna is Emma Ballantine. Uh, Yufa is. Emily Burnett, Nuraz is David uh, Monteith, Lewis is Joseph Tweedale, Moore is George uh, Greg Chun, and Grius is Gordon uh, Cooper. The only one I know, well, I definitely know Greg Chun because he is uh, Yagami in Judgment, and he's also um, Nanba in Judgment. Uh, in, in uh, like Dragon Seven Eight, uh, Caleb Yen sounds very familiar. Uh, who is he? Uh, okay, so he was in Squid Games. Uh, let's see some behind the voice actor stuff. Okay, so Protag. Okay. Uh, okay, Taichi, I'm not sure if I have encountered him yet. Oh, yeah, 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 I, I, okay, I played, uh, main race name. Okay, yeah, I, I've encountered Taichi, yeah. Uh, no, don't recognize, don't recognize. Uh, I haven't gotten caught up with Rush Duel. Oh, that's the game, so, no, I haven't seen him. Um, no, no. I, I'm not caught up with a, like, much of any of animes, like, the past, like, three, four years. <laughs> Sorry. But, uh, yeah, I've not really, uh, seen much of his role, so, besides, uh, Tai Chi and, um, and, uh, Gaiden. Uh, so this will be basically, like, a new experience, uh, with me, for me, with him. So, uh... Yeah, like, he, he sounds really cool. He sounds cool in this. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, just seeing here. Uh, as previously announced, Metaphor will be part of the game comms as, at uh, Gamescom. So, and we'll have a voice actor interview. Show off uh, the brand new content. Okay. So, uh, will the, the English voice actors be there? Or will it be uh, Japanese voice actors? Will it be both? That's something I want to know. We'll find out uh, on day three okay um let's see here uh well let's see uh Stuart Clark oh is he like an actual like play actor of uh, see here oh Final Fantasy 16 okay Yeah, but I think he he's like an actual like play actor. <clears> oh, <throat> uh, let's see this. It says IMDb. Uh oh, he's he's been on some TV. Oh, okay. So for Ben West, okay. 
Uh, yeah, he's like more of an actual like on screen actor versus a uh, voice actor. Okay. All right. Um, I guess we 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 can uh finish off with uh Christian. Uh, any beyond the voice sectors? No, I guess we're going with the IMDB. Up oh, another uh, English actor, English act actress. Okay, uh, yeah, so, well, let's do this. Uh, metaphor, okay, Allander, uh, Banishers, Warhammer, okay. Uh, again, another, like, uh, mainly, like, on screen actor actor okay all right so I, I was just more going towards towards you know like uh like play actors like uh like or like more like well I, i'm not really sure how to say this just just like more who who's like in like in into theater right yeah i think i think that's the best word the theater actor uh, I'll I'll check out the other uh actors later, but at least with you know Stuart and Stuart and uh a Christian, they they're both theater actors or either theater actors or you know on screen TV actors. So it would be interesting to you know hear like hear their approach or like get some interviews about them like joining Alice for this game and like hear like how they think you know uh uh like how it's different from like the other like uh projects that they worked on it's like oh okay this is a very different uh i am this uh fantastical creature who is you know in this magical world of fantasy and <laughs> well with Stuart, he he was in uh, uh 16 so hmm. uh but okay so we are going with the last article for today, and this is the most recent one, because this is, like, literally today. This portion of the podcast is sponsored by you, the patrons on patreon.com slash cafe podcast. As low as $3 a month, you can support me and the podcast with benefits such as exclusive posts, early access to the podcast, no in-video ads, your name scrolling in the video, and much more. So please consider supporting your boy over at patreon.com slash cafe podcast, and now back to the show. Uh, <laughs> Persona. Th no, I, I was about to say. I, I was about to say Persona Three Reload. Why did I stop myself? <laughs> Persona Three Reload episode I gets to feature Persona Five Boss Challenge. As previously announced. Oh yeah. Uh. So, uh, as previously announced, uh, episode I gets the answer was part of today's game saw a Gamescom opening night live showcase, announcing a new boss battle as part of. The final part of the expansion pass, a Persona 5 themed challenge called A Familiar Foe will be, will be included with episode Igus featuring Joker. Uh, certain requirements will be, will be need to fulfill in game to access this challenge battle. And uh, I, I was live uh, watching Gamescom because they, they did announce before uh, this that hey, we're gonna be there, so keep an eye out. So I did, so. Check out my reaction there. But uh, here we got the trailer. Tomorrow oh. and all the days after it will be March 31st. It's like Tartarus all over again. There is a strong connection between all of you and what's happening. Let's just open it. Then we'll know. Something's wrong. Ravage them! You never see it there he is! And Satanael. Alright, uh, okay, so. Well, uh, let's go, let's go over this and then. I, I want to get my full thoughts, because I never really gave my full thoughts in the, the reaction, because it was a live stream. <laughs> and things had to keep on going, so well, let's go over this and then, uh. Uh, then we we will uh, talk about this. So the press release uh, during Gamescom opening night live, Alice announced a special challenge battle 
uh, will be added to Persona 3 Reload next month as part of episode I Guess the Answer. This following content uh, released for Persona 3 Reload Expansion Pass is set to release September 10th, 2024. Uh, wholly unique to Persona 3 Reloads episode I guess, the encounter with the masked boy presents a hardcore challenge for players via a secret boss fight. Uh, replete, uh, yeah, is it replete? Okay, uh, with striking themes from Persona 5 Royal. The confrontation is one of the, uh, also, hold on, uh, well, I totally forgot to put on background music. My bad. <laughs> uh... Uh, the confrontation is one one part of the larger episode, I guess, the answer content e expansion. A major post-ending DLC that further de de develops the story of Persona 3 Reload and serves as a story epilogue. Okay, so the Persona 3 Reload expansion pass includes episode, I guess, uh, the answer, the Velvet Costume, and BGM set, uh, the Persona 5 Royal EX and Persona 4 Golden EX BGM sets, the expansion pass is set is available for uh, purchase on digital storefronts for three four nine nine on Xbox uh, XS One Windows Steam yeah 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 an extra cost for old Game Pass Ultimate subscribers and then we got some screenshots so boom got some there so it's not actually Joker there it's just you know a fake copy and hey look it's splash art it's a 10 il so i want to give my thoughts about this oh so i am not really fond of having joker in here the main reason why is that Joker's just been overused. Joker's just been in way too many content. And like, I've seen people saying like, oh, why are you guys getting angry? You know, it's Joker, you know? it's You know, I thought you guys liked jo Persona. And like, yes, you can like Persona. Yes, you can like Joker. I like Joker. He's an awesome character. Or Joker. But Persona 5 and also Pers Persona 5 and also Joker has long overstayed their welcome. Like, okay, so like well, let's think about like all like all the pers all the Persona 5 stuff that's been coming out since the vanilla. You know, okay. Vanilla. We got Royal. We got Strikers. We got Tactica. Uh Persona Q2 as well. Uh, okay, uh, <clears throat> so, oh yeah, dancing, so that's already six games right there, so six games, all, all within, you know, since, uh, 2016, 2017, and, hey, let's not forget, like, the DLCs of either Joker being, you know, a costume or a character, uh, so Smash, uh, and we're just going, like, with just, you know, Alice stuff, like uh Tokyo Mirage session uh uh let, let, let's see here uh oh yeah uh metaphor uh soul hackers that's already four there and the and all like the persona 5 like uh um what what's called a uh, a uh, collaborations that has joker in there like I I I try to find out like how many like like collaboration Joker has been in, and I went to like the, the wiki and just like there's been twenty seven separate like games or like whether it be like actual games or like you know mobile games that feature either Joker as a character or like his costume or something representing Joker. So, 27 other media has featured Joker. And, like, say, like, oh, you're not, like, to say, like, oh, how are you, like, not tired of Joker? To, like, bro, he's been in so many other media. And I've also seen people say, oh, how come you're not tired of you and uh, Makoto in, uh, in Persona 5 uh, Royal? Well, I mean, first of all, if you initially played Persona 5 Royal, that was an extra DLC he had to, to buy. 
So if he didn't, if he didn't buy Persona 5 Royal, like when it was ported to other systems like PS5, Xbox, Switch, all that stuff, you didn't, you don't play that. You had to buy that initially. And second, uh, Makoto and you, when was the last time they had games that that weren't just ports or you know, uh, like or had like new game content? With Makoto, the last new game was uh it was dancing all night before that was uh what was it persona q and then before that what was it uh was it portable was portable the last game before well q okay and that was years late like years before uh, q2 it's like and like you okay so uh what was it uh okay q2 uh and then what else uh q that was again years before dancing all night the like it's been much it's we hadn't we haven't seen we've seen more of joker and persona 5 much more than we've seen of makoto and you and like it's not even comparable like in the amount of time like between like you know like all, all like the the whole like you know oh hey persona's getting more popular let's do some more stuff with like you know the other series like okay like persona 3 fes and then portable and then years later you know got the the uh crossover in like arena ultimax and q and then much later on, Q2, and then, uh, Dancing in Moonlight. Like, there's been enough gaps in time where it's not annoying to see, you know, Makoto or you in, in the games. Whereas, Joker in Persona 5, it's just been way too much. It's just been way too much. I do like the characters. I do. He is an awesome character. He's really well designed. But it's just been over. It's been. It's just too much of it. Like it, it reminds me a lot. Like a uh, like so someone like had this thing. Like uh, like like okay. Like you have you, like you got yourself a wacky steak, and you absolutely love it. And then you know you decide to like you know I want some more wacky steak. Okay, you eat it. Still tastes good. Keep eating. Okay. Next thing, you, you eat it. Oh, it still tastes good. Like, after what? Like, even, like, barely a month, like, of you eating it day to day to day, you're going to be sick of it. All right? So, like, that's why, like, like, and then you'll be like, you know what? I, I, I'm, I'm good with, you know, my wacky steak. You know, let, let me get something different. All right? And that's where I'm coming from here. Right? Like, he is a good character. He's right. He's 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 he's. he's he, it's awesome to see him, but we've seen him too much. Let's have another character, you no, know, uh, be in the secret boss fight. You know, I would have taken like I've said in the, in the reaction video, Marker would have been a good you know uh uh secret boss character because hey. Like, we had it in Portable, that would have been a good callback to, like, oh, hey, they did, you know, the Vision Quest in Portable. Hey, why not just bring Margaret in? And that'll be, you know, a good teaser to the inevitable Persona 4 remake whenever they do that. And they will already have the model already ready. So there's that. Or it would have been cool if they did uh, a Persona 1 or 2 character. Because, hey, we haven't seen them in over a decade. You know, not counting, you know, the whole, you know, Persona 25th anniversary. No, screw that. No, we haven't seen them in over a decade. Like, not since, like, the PSP releases of those games. Those would have been good characters to, to add into here. Or, hey, like, I even made a tree about this, like, replying to someone. They could put in the Nabino in here. This would have been a good cross promotion for uh, SMT5 Vengeance. 
so owned by Atlas, they can just put it in and it would be just like, you know, people who haven't really played an SMT game be like, oh, I wonder where this character came from. Oh yeah, this from uh, this from Vengeance. Like, oh, oh, cool, that's really, really nice looking character. Cross around the game, people who, you know, are just in Nabi, you know, might get Vengeance. You know, that makes, you know, much more sense, you know, instead of adding Joker in for the umpteenth time already. So just, uh, I, I, I just want to see like other characters besides Joker. Like, you know, like I'm excited for like the uh, Persona 5 uh, X because it features new characters or like that would have been a good idea. You should wander in here. That would have been a great, you know, tease. Just like, oh yeah, uh, I'm gonna be in, you know, this upcoming game that you guys are gonna be getting soon. You know, uh, pick it up. You know, that would have been a great idea. Put in wander. Uh, uh man, like, like th these are just like excellent ideas that I was could be putting in, but just like it's just more. More Joker, more Persona 5 and stuff. Just I just want to see something new that is not Persona 5. <laughs> it, it, it is like they, they had to import this model from like their original engine into in, in, into here. It's just uh well I've also seen people seem like complain like and it's it's a dumb complaint and saying like Oh, they brought in Joker, but they couldn't bring in a uh, Katoni and do her route for reload. Like, like, bro, how how are you comparing adding a singular boss to the game versus making an entire route and essentially entire new game with more voice acting? more new characters more like reanimated cutscenes and like that, that that makes no sense just comparing like a, a boss edition to to adding an entire character in a new route to like to the game that that makes absolutely like no sense at all <laughs> like like you gotta use some common sense here people like like you, you can't be like saying like, oh, this guy has, this guy has an apple. How come I don't get a steak, huh? Like that, that is just like, like a ridiculous comparison, right? Like, like, like you use brain people's like, like it, it, you, you can't be complaining like the, these two di different things and like saying like, yeah, it's a, it's a fair like argument. Like, no, it is, it is not. Oh uh, man, oh man, uh, but yeah, just honestly, just it's it's he 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 is it just too too much for Joker. I, I just want to see something new out from this, and just uh, like just any other character that Alice has at their disposal would have been better than Joker. It would have been character than Joker. Like, can't say I'd hate Joker because look at my little uh, profile icon. It is Joker's outfit. You can't say I don't like Joker when I have his outfit on. <laughs> oh man, uh, but uh, but yeah, that that that's just like my 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 little rant complaint about this. Like, do, do you guys think you know like? Like, and I've also seen people say like, oh, hey, uh, Persona has had used multiple, has used, you know, uh, MC characters multiple times in the past when the only other time was reload and just, and barely, if you want to count Margaret in portable, but that's not a main character. That's just, that's a velvet room tenant, not, not a main character. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, just, I, I just want something new there that's not P5 related. J just use your other IPs. That, 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 that's what, that's what we want. Yeah, 
well, that's what I want. I'm speaking for myself. I'm not speaking for others. That's what I want. Someone, someone else, someone new that is not Persona 5 related <laughs> or not from the main Persona 5. Okay. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's been it for this episode of the Cathedral of Velvet podcast. Now, I did mention earlier in the beginning of the podcast that I do have a little announcement. And this is it. Here's the special announcements. Uh, next episode of the Cathedral Velvet podcast, we're going to be having a special guest. And that guest is David Cast JRPG. We are getting him on the podcast next episode. So, guys, get excited new new guests i know it's been a while i've been trying to ask around you know see different people's you know like hey do you want to be the podcast hey do you want to be podcast where it's happening it's happening people next episode we're having new guests and i i, I did play you know, like a little special game to do with with the guests i have been playing for like a while so like, <laughs> oh, this is gonna be fun <laughs> No, 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 it's not nothing bad, it's just a simple game, but we're gonna be talking about that next time, so, uh, yeah, um, thank you guys for coming out, uh, I, I definitely gotta get this, uh, uh, edited up soon, cause, again, I'm recording this, well, at time, right now, it's midnight of Wednesday, so I have to get this edited up ready for, uh, the patrons, and also ready for uh the public tomorrow so yeah uh thank you guys for watching i uh, also want to thank the patrons so uh yeah their names should be scrolling on screen right about now so if you guys want to uh uh support the show uh get this uh podcast available ad free and and early subscribe to the patreon links will be down in the description below and yeah uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, of course, next episode, it will be the week of September 1st. So the beginning of the month, that's where we're getting a new episode. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. And this has been the Cathedral of Velvet. Cathedral of Velvet podcast. <laughs> I don't know why I left out like that. The Cafe podcast. Yeah, I will see you guys next time. Bye.